Hey, what's up, everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, March 14th. In 1794, born in Massachusetts and a graduate of Yale College, Eli Whitney receives a patent for the cotton gin around five months after applying for it. The cotton gin would vastly improve the de-seeding processing of cotton. In 1812, with persuasion from President James Madison, Congress and legislatures approved the first issue of war bonds in the U.S. to help pay for the War of 1812. In 1923, President Warren G. Harding becomes the first president to pay for income taxes. He paid $7,000 on a $75,000 salary, around $1,080,000 today. In 1926, in a great tragedy, an overloaded train carrying over 1,000 people with capacity for just 300 on the way to Cartago, Costa Rica, topples over into the Varilla River. Around 250 people were killed and 100 injured. In 1964, Dallas nightclub owner Jack Ruby, real name Jacob Rubenstein, is sentenced to death by electric chair for the killing of suspected shooter of JFK, Lee Harvey Oswald. In 2006, CBS News anchor and reporter Mike Wallace announces his retirement from 60 Minutes News program after more than 40 years with CBS. And in 2013, Xi Jinping becomes the president of China. The country's legislature appointed him with a ritual ballot of Beijing's Great Hall of the People by a vote of 2,952 to 1. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend. Be safe and bless up.